Hello, everyone. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from Gold Squadron Flight Club. It is Saturday morning. Here's our streaming schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, live here on Twitch. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, come on over to Twitch. Free giveaways. You get to hear about Dion's life and how he stayed up to 5 a.m., cleaning an oven, and all the glorious stories of uh, and adventures of Dion Morales and the GSP crew. We also maybe talk crap about YouTube only people. Who knows? Hey, you you never you never know. You'll never find out if you don't come to Twitch. Am I just teasing you to try to get you over here? Yeah, pretty much. But those of you who are watching live, let's go ahead and uh, and get to the choose your champion in a minute. But let's talk about those rules first. Two ship team up. Only two ships are allowed and each pilot must be on a different ship type. None of this double fire sprays, double pancakes. They got to be different. I'm going to open up that Choose Your Champion uh, betting. I'm going to pass it over to my co-host for today, James. Go ahead and break it down. Breaking it down. All right. So on the left, we have Ernestus Romaniscus. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah. Pretty cool name. <laughs> uh, has Empire today flying Darth Vader and what a Darth Vader it is. Supernatural Darth Vader with fire control systems and afterburners. Uh, that's that's all you need for for Vader. Like that's yeah, that's all that's yeah. all Vader could ever want right there. <laughs> uh, also, we have a uh, Whisper uh, has Juke, Pass Sensors, Fifth Brother, and Stealth Device. Uh, so a very AC Whisper. Especially if she, she's able to get that juke off uh, with the with her ability, it, it's going to be it's going to be just going to put some damage out. Uh, so this is like that 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 two aces kind of two ship build. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, we have resistance with uh, Noah for an apple, and has Ray in the Falcon with extinctive aim, thread tracers. PZ4CO droid, Perceptor Copilot, Finn, Feedback Array, Tactical Scrambler, and Ray's Millennium Falcon. Uh, so a very, um, out, out, not very, very different Ray than we're used to seeing. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm I've yeah. never seen a Ray built out this way. I find it really interesting. Um, I'd love to pick Noah's brain. You know, like what? But why? <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the instinctive aim is just to make it 200 points. Or sorry, I mean, 100, 100 points. <laughs> it might. It might. Because I mean, I'm thinking with the... Because he, he only spent 155 points, right? Like yeah. You, you could have gotten... Rose, for sure. Yeah, you could have gotten Rose. This is a fantastic value um, in, in the setup. You could have gotten a heightened perception. Mm-hmm. To get to initiative seven. Yeah, and that's all still up below like 170. <laughs> now, m now, mind you, there could also be an aspect, and no, this is no judgment on you, but I and I don't, I don't 100 percent know, but maybe Noah might not necessarily be a resistance player, might not be too familiar with the resistance, so uh, could have thrown him a curveball here. But you know what? It is, yeah, we'll it doesn't hurt to try it. This is the thing with with Flight Club, right? Is it's an opportunity to have a commentated game, get some feedback, but there's there's no stakes, right? This isn't a tournament, you know. You're not losing in a cut. It's just uh, it's just learning. Yeah, but I'm, I'm interested to see what he can do with that droid and with that perceptive copilot. If he can like pass a token over to uh, to ZZ if you need if uh, if they need one. Uh, speaking of ZZ, we have ZZ Tolo in the A-Wing, RZ-2 A-Wing, has heroic predator, proton rockets, and advanced optics. Uh, so very, uh, very thick uh, ZZ. So, uh, but ZZ is very survivable, can get in a lot of great places, and uh, that proton rocket just ups her damage tenfold. So, and like, like Dion said, 155 points Five point bid, so uh, he did. He did actually choose to, to go first, take the first player. He wants to move before Whisper does with both of his ships. So we'll see how that uh, pans out over the course of the game. 
Yeah, now one of the things we got to remember is Whisper still could muck up some of the movements with decloaking. Mm -hmm. It's not done very often, but some of the greatest Phantom players that I've seen know how to use the decloak not only to get into offensive positions, but to use it for blocking. And if you get that like S tier Phantom play, I've seen like decloaking for a block and then doing a maneuver that puts whisper or echo in a perfect shot where they like arc dodged and have a range one shot on somebody like you got to watch out if somebody knows like how to play like is a phantom virtuoso you got to watch out because i think noah likely took the first player to thinking like hey i want to make sure i can move first but you still got the decloak you got to watch yeah, out for be it careful I will say though, um, being able to, yeah, like I, I've been playing a lot of ETA Actus recently, and with, uh, and they have a very similar, uh, like decloak, and uh, that's been really fun being able to muck up other people's design, like basically being able to like reposition the I zero, and uh, being able to block and, and then do your move is really interesting. I think you're muted, Dion. No, no, I'm not muted. Oh, okay. I'm thinking here. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm just looking at the at the formation like style that Noah is using with Ray and and ZZ. I will say that is a scary like mega arc to be in. Potential for a proton rocket and as hard as Ray can potentially hit. Gotta watch out. Yeah, I will say that uh, Ray's arc is to the side right now, so. Oh, okay. So a little, little bit, a little bit uh, different than we're used to seeing. Usually Ray has her arc pointed to the front, so maybe he's just trying to keep a trying to play a little bit safer. I'm going to increase the size of that uh, that arc there, just so that we can see it a little bit better there you go big thick three c's thank you all right so what, what are we thinking for maybe say a decloak forward with uh with whisper super uh, aggressive maybe try to get a block onto zz you know, I, I don't think so. You have the clouds right now. I think you're okay to uh, to play KG. You do you have the uh, the space to the right and be able to hook down, likely not taking any shots, or at least uh, not taking any quality shots. Vader is the one that I'm super curious about. He obviously has so many tools. You got the supernatural reflexes out there. You got the afterburners. A lot of flexibility, but I think uh, I think we could see Vader to start chipping away at Ray starting this turn if Ernastus gets uh, gets aggressive. Yeah, so it looks like uh, Ernastus is still deciding on his whisper dial. He he did say that he is the first time. This is his first time playing Empire. So those man, those those phantoms. Those are hard to play for people that have been playing for for you know for day for 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 months mm -hmm. even. So uh, we'll see how he he does with it. This is his first time playing it. I I believe though. You gotta believe. Now we'll see what Noah does here with Ray's arc. As his arc is left and right, so you could end up, uh, you know, chewing against Vader just a little bit. And here we go. Here's the decloak. Where are you going? Oh, okay. Going to the outside. Looking at the angle there. 
think I think he's okay to not hit the cloud, but it'll be really close. If you go straight. If you go straight. Mm, yeah, you're right. It yeah, but is also, very close. <laughs> yeah, but also if he goes straight and ZZ goes straight, that's a proton rocket. <laughs> ZZ <laughs> did not go straight. Okay. Um, and actually, this is a great question from somebody in the chat. Can Ray shoot the thread tracers even though her arc is left and right? And the answer is yes, because it is a separate weapon. The thread tracers itself gives Ray a three dice arc out the front to perform the thread tracer attack. So that is possible. But of course, the thread tracers does not uh, doesn't do any damage. Just sets up target locks. I mean, I say just sets up target locks. Setting up target locks yeah. can be great. The, yeah, that's pretty important. And here, here's a question for you, James. Would you agree that in this two-ship variant where I'm forcing people to only play two ships, does this, does this lower the value of Thread Tracers, or is it still worth its points? Well, if you can use them effectively, they, they, they should be fine. They should be great. Uh, but it'll... You'll be hard pressed to to get to gain a lot of value if you're only getting if you're only getting uh, locks with two ships. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like it all, yeah. I, I would like he he has the points. I would like to if he's going to go the instinctive aim route. I would have liked to see him with instinctive aim and like like a proton or or a. Uh, a proton rocket or concussion missile. Whisper coming down that two straight and then barrel roll to get out of the arc of Ray. Is is Whisper on the line? No, she's not. Okay. For a second I was like, wait, is she <laughs> is Whisper on that uh that line between the front and the side arc? That's a bad place to be. I've been there before. Oh, <laughs> Vader, three bank. I suspect afterburners. It's true. All of it. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll probably see him take a lock here on Ray and, yeah, do all kinds of bad things. This is likely going into Ray. Yep, you have the focus fire right now. Especially that Whisper is completely safe from an attack, and so is Vader. Like you're, you're going to see that target lock set up because here, here's the risk with taking those thread tracers on Ray is even though you set up the target locks, there's no guarantee that you can end up using them. And some people have brought up in the chat if you had brought Rose, it doesn't it doesn't cost you an attack. And my 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 thought is Noah likely was really leaning into the idea of a fully modified. Proton, to, uh, proton rocket for ZZ. That's why they were so close. You know, the his his dream scenario, right? The combo he's likely going for is set up the target lock with Ray. You have ZZ take a focus, and and uh, and you got that right. And that's the goal for the uh, for that combo. But here we go, Vader, doing his thing, not getting any hits. Spend the target oh, lock here on the two blanks. Yeah. It looks like you're going to be safe for a while. You so you're okay taking those, taking those, uh, spinning the lock. Hit crit. And Ray taking one. I'm assuming if we get if we spend the first focus, yes. And then using the force on the second die, that doesn't work, right? Because yeah, it's not in the, it front has to be in the front. Yeah. Oh, he got yeah, it. Yeah, they pulled the back. He got it. Yeah. So one shield there on Ray. 
So Ray's ability does specifically state that the enemy ship that's attacking Ray in order to use uh, in order to use the ability has to be in the front arc. Yeah. So she can definitely use it on Whisper Shot. Yes, absolutely. So, I mean, but it looks like, I mean, this would be thread tracers if we're attacking out the front. Yes. And, I mean. Yeah, I mean, if you spend the focus, it's guaranteed that the thread tracers hit. Well, no, he has stealth device, so he can still miss here. Oh, you're correct. They're spending that focus. They get three hits on the thread tracer. Oh, and just the natty natties! Out. Disrespect. No wombo combo for Noah. I will tell you, man, that feels bad. Especially, there's people who like play for the combo. They're like, I don't want to win. I want to get my combo off. And, uh, mm, feels bad. Bad. Whisper range one. Able to get two hits. So I think he should only roll one and then add the blink with Finn. Yeah, you have to. All right, so I think I think they just agreed. They agreed that he'll give him the focus again. A little bit, little bit casual, but said, "All right, here, I'll just give you the, you 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 can use the ability for the blank anyway that you would have gotten from Finn. So it would be one agility rolled. If he had a focus token, he can then use one force for its normal ability, and then one force for converting a blank into a hit." Uh, excuse me, into an evade in that situation. Yeah. And I think, so, I think from kind of deconstructing and, and watching play a little bit, um, you know, Noah might be a little bit of a newer player, maybe not as familiar with the uh, with the resistance here. Um, and that's okay. You know, there's, there's a lot of... Uh... Are they... I think they're redoing oh, okay. it. Well, now he only has to spend one for us. Oh, Juke. Never Juke. Mind. Yep. Yeah. So, so same same situation. Force. Spend both force, and it's the same thing. So we did resolve it. All was right. All right. Cool. So when 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 I discover or feel like we have a, a newer player, it's a great opportunity for learning, right? And already we've talked a little about a little bit about some list building uh, tips that we can take. Um, you know, talking about what what is your goal going into the game, right? It, it's just really it, it's dependent on what you want to get out of it. So Noah's list, I would call it a little, little bit more experimental. He brought two pilots that are really good in the resistance with a little bit of tweaking on on the upgrades. I think this could be a really scary list to play against. Um, yeah. Honestly, ZZ, you probably leave ZZ exactly the way she is. Maybe maybe I would be tempted to change out the Predator for, pro, for, um, for Crackshot. Especially, I think Crackshot has really high value in this format against two ships. Yeah, and, and you're you're gonna you're only gonna probably get Bullseye probably maybe once a game, mm -hmm. and even then you're gonna want to shoot the Procket. So Predator and Crackshot came and work there. So then you're just betting on like, hey, later on if I get another Bullseye, I'll have Crackshot. Yeah. So yeah, this is a this is a hard hard one. 
uh, yeah, I, I would probably do that. And then I, I think I would probably, if, if he wants to go this route to where he's kind of like leaning into the, the that pocket, I would, I would probably try to grab, um, still grab Rose instead of, uh, man. Yeah, I'd probably grab Rose instead of the Perceptive. And then if you wanted to pass the Calculator Focus, you can with PZ. <clears throat> Another route, if he wanted to use more of his points, he could maybe have swapped out uh, ZZ for Poe. Yeah, if... that was, they, we were talking about that earlier in the mm -hmm. chat, but um, I think I think that's a really viable option. Like that definitely just fits in there really nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, but Poe, like a lot of a lot of games, like Poe just dies if you don't play well with them. This is true. Uh, so ZZ is very very hard to kill. So that may be what he's going for there. Oh, sloop to dupe. I like the sloop there. I like to slow, but the arc is still side to side right now. I like the positioning. You probably get away from Whisper's attack. Yeah, but if if he had his arc front here, he would have done a great a great shot onto Whis onto Whisper here. Yep. Oh man, have not having that arc to oh, the front. Oh, he could right title now. rotate. Oh, use it. Use the title. No, title, title right. do it. Use guys. We got to send them energy to use the title. Remember the title. There's no reason to be on the side right now. Yes. Oh! yes! yes! He, did no! he did it. It did it. We did it. We did it. All right. You sent him the energy. <laughs> so that is the Ray's Millennium Falcon title. Uh, if you have two or fewer stress tokens, you can execute Segnor's loops uh, and perform boosts and rotate actions even while stressed. So, I mean, for, for all that, he'll probably just barrel out of it. So... <laughs> Uh, but he should have another. It, is, it does still cost a stress. All righty. And yeah, Whisper sitting right there at range one. Now, even even if Whisper just barely got out with the barrel roll, that's still the right choice to have it in the front. No regrets. You'll get to shoot Vader from a long range. This is fine. Your arc is where it needs to be now. Yeah, it's now set up good. You may fire when ready. I also might have liked the scene going for like the bump on uh, Whisper and just feedback arraying. Mm. And the, just, just to break the stealth device, if nothing else, because that's like one guaranteed way of like auto damage kind of thing. So he's now, probably going to take a lock on ZZ. Ooh, okay. Continuing into into, I mean, Ray is a hundred points versus fifty five on oh. uh, on ZZ. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't know here. I think I think I might have. Oof. Yeah, I think I might have actually bear rolled out. And shot ZZ there with Vader. Just to stay safe. What? Here comes a Darth Vader shot. Three dice with that advanced targeting computer. Hit crit. That'll change the hit to a crit. Reroll. Using that fire control system, and that's going to be three after spending a force, I'm assuming. Yeah, the right choice. Uh, all right. He can probably spend a force here to take one shield. All right. Uh, so ZZ and Ray both have a shot back into Vader. This is a this is your opportunity to do something big here. You could half them with some good shots. Yeah, you definitely could. Uh, ooh, yep. You can optics and then get your focus back with the ZZ oh. ability. Oh, force the focus spin. That's nice. The focus was hanging out there in front of Vader. That's what I was trying to show you guys. I hit the wrong button on the keyboard. Sorry. Uh, make sure you don't forget CC ability. No. Okay. 
Yep. ZZ trigger miss there. Could hurt with Whisper taking a shot here pretty soon. Yeah, because Whisper does have Juke, so it's it's gonna hurt no matter what. Mm-hmm. Now, Ray doesn't have any force available, so not going to be able to do full shenanigans. Still got hit crit yeah. out of it, though. Yeah. yeah. Vader only has a single force left. Yeah, I think they're going back and giving CZ her focus. Maybe I see them looking looking at the uh looking at the ability. We'll see what they decide to do. Yeah, okay. Yes, looks like the it's answer. A, it's a friendly game. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, Vader. Take the damage. Can you just imagine if that would have been a full ray shot? Mm-hmm. And Whisper now, unobstructed. All right. Uh, does have the focus now, so that, that, that'll help out a lot. Makes a big difference. Oh, especially yeah. when Whisper still, throws three at you. Still getting three hits, yeah. I'm going to get... St Look at that. All Look right. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> the feels good. That could have very easily been a feels yeah. bad. Got yeah, all that three. Would, yeah, that would have probably been... ZZ, yeah, that would have been ZZ almost dead there. So... <laughs> Don't forget your triggers, boys and girls. <laughs> All right. So um, that's a much better round uh, for Noah there. Was able to grab a damage onto Vader. Not die was easy. Great round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you accomplish today? I didn't die. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> Number and, two, I didn't die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The damage, the damage on Vader, that was just a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> That's a treat. Yeah, only taking one on Ray from that attack is pretty good too. It's somewhat expected, which is how defensive Ray can be in her front arc at long right. range. Uh, especially with Finn and all the all the things. Ray right now needs to keep it super simple. Don't get cute. Yeah. One Unfortunately, straight. it looks like uh yeah. Well, Whisper's gonna decluck over to block. That's fine. <laughs> I, that's that's yeah. really, really, it's okay because that means Whisper likely is still in front of you. That's okay. That's true. Good One point. forward, you you lose a stress. Uh, and and just go. Yeah, he should. Oh have no, two he has stress, two. He he's got two he, stress right now, right? He should. Ray should have two stress. Yep. Yeah, I, I said it earlier, but I think I got missed with all the all the shenanigans. So yeah, should have two stress. There you go. Sloop and yeah, we got we got it figured out. Yep. Yes, the rotate action is red on the uh, the resistance falcon. That ship is a hunk of junk. It's been around for a while. By the way, uh, you know, sometimes I do talk about if you – not everybody here reads all the books. Right now, currently, I'm going through the certain point of view for a uh, book series for um, – for the Empire Strikes Back, there it's a, a collection of short stories from different characters' perspective. And right now, I just got to one where it's actually the uh, the Millennium Falcon Collective. It's the the three droid brains, including L three, talking about their time on Cloud City. It's really what? really cool. Yeah, it's great. That's so cool. It's really That's so cool. ridiculous. <laughs> the, it's got, like really, the stories in here, you get everything from like the perspective. In one of the stories, it's early on, is from the perspective of uh, of the Tauntauns. <laughs> it, it's it's crazy. Like they're what is really, happening? <laughs> the stories are fantastic. They're really good. All right, I guess I'll have to get that one too. I I just I just finished Thrawn. Uh, the new Thrawn. So, yeah. So that was, the, that one's the, super good too. 
the series, the series, it, it, there's two of them out right now. Okay, there's one for a new hope. No, I'm sorry. There's three of them out. There's one for a new hope. There's one for the Empire Strikes Back, and they also came out with one for the Clone Wars. I haven't started that one yet, uh, but it, it's called From a Certain Point of View, and there's like 25 to 30 short stories in it. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, yeah, here I we heard, go. Yeah, I heard there was one about Yoda, and he about like he does recognize R2. He does, yeah. Yeah, but he's just like, huh? Of course, it's that droid. Yeah. So we see Whisper getting in that blocking position. Oh, Gus, don't, don't, I love, I love all the little quirky stories. They're fantastic. No hater raid. Put your hater raid away. <laughs> this game brought to you by Audible. No, it's not. Don't <laughs> say that because I want to get paid by Audible. Come on. <laughs> no, no, deny. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's brought to you by Co-op Print Yards. Code GSP for 15% off. <laughs> now Dion's going to be mad at me. <laughs> All right, so he's taking another rotate action there. You enjoyed it until the Bestman stories. Oh, I've had a great time. I like the Bestman stories. Again, right now, I'm still early in them. All right, ZZ coming around the mountain. Where are you going? Now, Ray not getting blocked. Absolutely awesome with that two bank. My co-host is not muted. He's just not speaking at the moment. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was reading some of the chat. Um, yes, Crazy Vulcan. Uh, the new Thrawn books. There's two trilogies right now. There is the... Uh, what was it called? Thrawn Alliances, I think. Mm -hmm. Thrawn, Thrawn Allegiance? Is that the old? That's the, that's the new one. Yeah, anyway, the, the, the old... The, the first one that that Zahn came out with um, in the new canon is about uh, Thrawn being in the Empire in between Re Rebels Season 3 and Season 4. Oh! Oh! Oh, buddy. Whisper called ZZ coming around the mountain. When you go around the mountain, you get popped in the face sometimes. Here we go. Vader, one banking. Looks like Vader is inside of the side arc right now. But, yep, the barrel roll. Barrel roll is a thing. Play barrel roll, take a focus. Oh, Isophane. I didn't look at my phone yesterday until like th until th this morning. Uh, I saw it. It's still actually available, um, but the the budget it's not in the budget right now. Had to pull some things back. Here we go. All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Change one to a crit. Bend that lock. That's going to be three. How does Ray respond? Got the squiggle. So able to avoid two. Takes a crit on the shield. Shields are now down on Ray. Shields down. Wow, wow, wow. Right, and no shot for Zizi, so oof. Uh, looks like range one in the side arc. That's a side arc, guys. And that is a range one. 
Ooh, man. This could hurt. Oh, oh the ooh. blank out. Whisper. I mean, oof. All right, so taking two. Stealth uh, device broken. Shields down. That's big because spinning that, spinning that uh, evade, Whisper no longer has Juke turned on. So that may actually really save ZZ's life there. All right, uh, don't forget, yep, he has passive sensors there, so he'll take a lock. Okay. He's with lock and fifth brother here. Let's see if ZZ can get out of this one. Here's the lock. So I think you spend the lock on everything there. Yeah. Yep, because you have only oh Oof. conversion. Oh wow. ZZ gonna be taking some damage. It looks like ZZ's gonna be taking three. Hit hit crit. Whoo man. Right. And it's a direct hit. Oh! No! F's in the chat, please, for ZZ. Yeah, that's that's very unfortunate. We did it. <laughs> yes, that is going to leave a mark. So now it's Ray versus the world. I think I think what's going to happen here is you know the empire most likely ends up taking it in in a couple of turns, but honestly, if Ray was uh, was a little bit more optimized, I appreciate the attempt at at trying maybe something a little bit different. Um, but I, I, if Ray was optimized, I would still be worried for Anastas because Ray can yeah, hit only one, extremely one hit hard. Away. <laughs> yeah. Both both of these ships are one hit away, one ray hit away from being gone. And and to address to address something, um, uh, some people were asking about the choice for Noah to choose to take the first player. You know, th their most competitive players agree that moving second is more valuable than shooting first because there there is some value in moving first there, there's some some people like the ability to for instance have full token information when their attack comes so they want to be first player to like be able to optimize their tokens and decide all right i want to keep x for defense um rather than you know Rather than the other way around, that's one one thing. Also, being able to see the open space where you know you can get less likely to get blocked in certain situations. But I think that in the, the reason that there's value in moving second is if you can avoid getting shot, if you can arc dodge. For instance, Whisper has taken advantage twice of being able to move after Ray and ZZ, something as simple as a little barrel roll gets you out of arc and allows you to still shoot. And I would say when it comes to to the choice, it may have been just a uh, you know maybe maybe less experience. Again, we don't we don't always know. We can't always unpack uh, you know people's ex you know, playing experience. But also we talked about it in the first game. This two ship, the two ship. Competition that we set up today, uh, where everybody's playing only two ships, it is honestly pretty difficult. Like the easy part is you only have two ships, but then the hard part is also that you only have two ships. Yeah, because you, you have, have to worry about two dials, but those are very important dials. Exactly, exactly. So we might see another afterburners here just to get out of arc. Just focusing up. 
So Bombgrass says, doesn't second player have perfect knowledge on when to spend tokens? Yes and no. You have perfect knowledge. Like everything has happened by the time it's your turn. But when you, you might have perfect knowledge, but you don't have perfect choice is the difference yeah. there, right? Like you might yeah, not have everything yeah. available. So yeah, exactly. All right, two hits and a focus. Bend that force. Ray trying to put some pain into Vader. Going to be taking one. Shields are down on the Dark Lord of the Sith. So shields down on both of the Empire ships. So uh, only three hole left on each of those. So like like we said earlier, this is a this is a very close game from being like it's. You know, one big attack from going down. One big bat about a swing. Unfortunately, Ray is pointed the wrong direction and double stressed. <laughs> well, because she's kind of in a disengaged lane right now, might have an opportunity to clear a couple of the stress before the re-engagement. Mind you, Whisper could very much press. Uh, right now, if we see Whisper, you know, get aggressive, yeah. trying to decloak yeah, down and yeah, decloak left and too hard would be really nice. If Whisper has it, it's a little little. T oh yeah, she's got it for sure. Yeah, she, she's got it, especially with the wiggle room, wiggle room. Yeah, <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And as we're waiting here, I want to remind everybody about the Gold Squadron Flight Club Championships. Signups are open now. Our first qualifier, which will be streamed here live for you, is January 23rd and the 24th. Uh, to answer a couple of questions, people had asked, Dion, so I know, so for anybody who's not familiar with the format, essentially, is depending on how you perform is how, what championship level you end up earning. So everybody, even if you go 0 and 6, you are in a championship level event and have an opportunity to play people of your same skill level, which is the whole point of the series, is really being able to have people play in a championship level event where there's championship level prizes with people of your same skill level. And I was inspired by the Campaign Against Cancer format, but kind of customized it to be... Uh, to, to work in a way that I, I think with time works a little bit better which we have the advantage of having the time and not needing to do it in one day um so uh, you can you can do that you don't have to stay for the cut if uh if you make the cut that is just you know if you're going for the glory and you want to be a qualifier winner you can do that um roosters sd are you worried about the middle tier having too many players versus the other two not at all i know that the middle was going to be that that's the beef that's that's your your you know your average player is going to be is going to be right there. I'm not I'm not worried. Should be all right. Are there any flight club events that won't be on Saturday? As of right now, that is really the sweet spot day for me, which is why they've been there. Um, possibly in the future, I I, I have some some other things planned. Oh, here we go. Ray. Man, Three Ray. Hits. Come on. Oof, just been a focus Able to here. focus out. Fine. Now, we, of course, have the focus modifier of the force on Whisper's attack. And that's going to be two. Yeah, we'll two see crits. If... Yeah, watch out. Ooh, oh. Does she have force available still? I believe so. Yes. Nope, oh, maybe not. And loose stabilizer. Loose stabilizer. Yeah. Oh no. Ah, dang it! I hit. 
I gotta move those buttons. They're, they shouldn't even be next to me. My crit button is right next to my choose your champion button. <laughs> <laughs> I did that again. Ah, sad. Uh, do you have you you have a stream deck, right? I do. Yeah. You you like it? I love it. Yeah. Except when I do this. <laughs> Except when <after> you do <laughs> <laughs> Did you click it again? <laughs> uh, well, no, because that one is actually it's on it's on. There's a bunch of like macros inside of it, so I have to go and manually like oh. break break the break the script. Yeah. And uh, click there it is. Yeah, I I like how cool and like how you know, like how customizable they can be, but th there's no there's no point for me to have one. But maybe just to be like. I don't know. Start of the programs that I want open on my computer. You know, that's one of the, I I have that set up. I also have uh, different macros for um, like my video editing in there. Oh different yeah, transitions and stuff. So we we'll probably see a decoke right from Whisper and go around the cloud, maybe. I mean, yeah. Just go go towards the top of the board. Yeah, there you go. At this point, you just want to keep keep the shots coming in. Vader will be here to assist very soon. And Noah, I, I like Noah right now. His strategy is very sound. Is you have a turret, use it to your advantage, and uh, have them chase because you can uh, you can force that. Now let me let me of course emphasize that in a tournament. If this was the case, Ernie has zero incentive to chase you. Only for the glory. But if you're just trying yeah. to go for the dub, <laughs> if you're just trying to get the, the win, you're like, okay, that's you can run away. I'm just going to hang out over here in the corner. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still just going to – I'm going to be fine. Mm -hmm. It's a really interesting strategy. Um. Or not strategy, but game situation, because it's really dependent from player to player whether they're willing to not play to win. It's really, it's a really interesting thing uh, that that we've talked about quite a few times on the podcast. Because most people, right? Most people's mentality, like I would say, your average player, you're like casual competitive player person who like goes to tournaments but uh but might not necessarily be like a huge like rule stickler i'm thinking like that kind of person they might yeah. they they're usually more willing to say i came to play so i'm going to engage and just see what happens and whatever right like i don't necessarily quote unquote care what happens uh versus the player who's playing to win right like i i came to play but my priority is winning over quote unquote playing so they, you know, they choose to, you know, to not engage. And neither, neither of those ways of playing are right or wrong. It's just different. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm kind of both players in that because I really, I, I really like to win. But mm -hmm. a lot of the times I, I find it very hard and difficult to, uh, to, to not continue to engage. Yeah. Um, like I, I usually try not to run away. Like if I know I'm up, I'm up on points by a lot. Ugh, Ray, range Ray just three nat natties, natties. This is a range two shot, so you know you're getting one. Oh, did oh. he just? No, oh, no, spend the evade. <laughs> Ships on fire, half points. Oh man. Fifty-five, forty-five. Watch out. By the way, shout out to JW and and uh, and Atridus for the subs. Thank you guys so much. Giving us a 79. Good morning. Good morning. The response back. Whisper sad with only one hit. Should have one able, force, right? Able to, should be able to spend a force here. Yeah, 
Yeah, safe. Mm -hmm. Oof. Uh, and with that, uh, Whisper does not get her G cloak. Or does not get her cloak token. Back. No cloaking, yeah. It's required per the phantom ship ability that you have an evade token at the end of the turn, and you spend that to gain the the cloak token. So that makes Whisper a little bit more predictable this upcoming turn. I mean, my guess is that you just you 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 two bank and. And say, hey, let, let's trade some shots. You bring Vader in, though. Vader's gotta gotta come in because right now, if if you want to just if you like try to run away with Whisper right now, you're just gonna end up sad. You're gonna end up being left out to dry. Yeah, there, there's not a lot of places you can go. I, I might even consider with Ray too hard. Mm -hmm. Back up towards the top of the board to her to her uh, turn turn t turn right uh, two. Uh, they what? Oh, who did it? Who did it? <laughs> Naughty! Let me tell you right now. Look at me, stream. <laughs> if you're ever on my stream, do right not eyeballs. check that. <laughs> do not check dice stats during the game. That is disrespectful and annoying. Okay, I don't know who was it. Ernie, Noah, you've been put on blast. <laughs> Putting it on blast. Don't do it. All right. Uh, loose stabilizer. You're going to take one more damage. Crazy Vulcan, please destroy the die stats. Destroy <laughs> the die stats. You, you, you can turn them off. Oh, no, and you can't turn them off because it'll turn off the tracking, huh? Yes. Oh, yeah. Do it. Do it. Who do I... I got, I got to talk to Flipster, right? Flipster, Flipster, we need a meeting. I need a meeting. This is to save. This is to save the soul <laughs> of X Wing on TTS. The dice stats don't. Ah, no, I don't like them. I don't. I don't like them. <laughs> I, I'm fine with them because I, I I I read them as like okay the decisions that I made might have whether they were good or bad like that that's what happened but I use it as like a, a way to see like okay I I did put myself in the correct positions mm -hmm. and it, and my dice were just bad for sometimes but you can always do better so my my, my problem I have seen too many people. And, and there are situations where people have used them well, but the the numbers only tell you when it's super exaggerated, right? Like when when it's crazy. Yeah. But even even then, I have seen people completely only look at the dice stats and completely ignore how they flew, and they never learn anything, or not never. They like if they focus so much on the dice, they never they don't they don't they don't learn about they don't talk about the positioning about the decision making. Um, yeah, and and then also it's not completely correct information because we have dice rolls for uh, for asteroids, we have dice rolls for different triggers for uh, for crits, and the, there are situations where you want blanks. But now your red dice score is going down because you're rolling these blanks. Yeah. Right? It's like... Very good point. Yeah. It, it is... The dice stats are an inaccurate representation. So when people are like, oh, but I want an accurate representation of my dice statistics. They are not an accurate representation of your dice statistics. They are not. All right, so Ray here gonna probably spend a force and take another crit. Mm. 
Oof, direct hit. Ray's going to be down now to, how many is that? One, two, three, four. Down the four. four. So, Cali Tool Man, I, I know that I, I can disable them, but this is, this is a, it's not just a GSP issue. I, 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 I just, I think as a, it being a tool, the idea going into it, I understood was a, to be honest, uh, we be better for dice that. Yeah, yeah, I agreed, agreed. Yeah, exactly. I know. I know. I know. The intent before it, Crazy Vulcan, I'm sure was was good. It's just, I mean, everything evolves, right? And it evolved into something I, that I think people just lose some opportunities with with their own, you know, thinking through the game. And I just like I I know me personally, when when you want to talk about a game, and the very first thing you do is throw me a screenshot of your dice stats i i don't want to talk about your game if, if you're gonna lead with dice stats i don't want to talk about it so don't send me screenshots of your of your dice stats <laughs> insert insert uh wave of dice stat pictures now right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is the new pickle oh, oh the new pickle <laughs> Oh man! All right, so Ray down to two hole. Going to be hard pressed to to pull this one back. All righty. Can I send you screenshots of all the terrible positions I put myself? Yes, you can <laughs> send. Yes, send me those. Send me those. Absolutely, one hundred percent. All right, James. As they uh, as they they're in planning here, I'm gonna go get my second cup of coffee so that okay. I stay I stay alive during these games. Okay, give me give me Staying like alive. thirty seconds. You, you'll be you'll be on your own. Don't burn it I'm down. <laughs> Don't flip the table. <laughs> he didn't say I couldn't flip the table, right? I need someone to redeem the. What is it? Nick, right? <laughs> who didn't? Who flipped the table? All right. All right. So we see that D cloak left from Whisper. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Denterman in here. Looks like Ray tried to uh, thread the needle there, huh? Yeah, she just, I hate that obstacle. I hate that obstacle so much. Every single time I play with that obstacle, I somehow in, it hit the little, nut, the little sticking out piece. <laughs> It's like a middle finger to me every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best. Uh, I hate that obstacle. <laughs> All right, and Vader coming in for the kill here. Probably just take a focus. Yep, you have the, the lock set up already. All right. Taking the barrel roll, trying to attempt to set up the unobstructed shot, but I think it was going to be obstructed no matter what because there's a yeah. slight, uh, because of the angles there. 
Also, barrel rolling may have got him out of the shot, yeah. out of getting shot back. Here's the reroll. FCS. That's going to be three. Hit, hit, crit. Hey, interesting, though, Dion. That actually puts him in the front arc. So he'll actually be able to convert the blank. No, he can live. Oh, yeah. No, he is strained. Okay, he's dead. Yep, he just needed two health, right? No, it right? So he rolls one. Adds a blank, converts the blank. He should have one hole left. So, well, he rolled to me the first time. So he rolls one, converts it, adds, and then spins the force. And he'll get, no, he only takes one. <laughs> I think they're going they're going through it a third time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we got it. We did it. Disabled power regulator gonna be uh even if, more disabled. Yeah. <laughs> when the ship goes boom, it's definitely disabled. A range two through the cloud. All right, I think this is the last chance here. Just rolls and natties again. Ooh. Oh, but he's safe. My game three players, if you are watching the stream, please go ahead and get ready. Looks like we're gonna be we're gonna be ready a little earlier. So that's uh, I know I see uh, Danter, you're in the chat. Mitchell, I'm not sure uh, if you're in the chat. Whisper two hits and converts for, oh, Duke, and that'll be game. All righty. So congratulations to Ernestus for getting the W here.